Man, my question today comes from a place of taught aspects of religion, staying on a path of alignment with self when being exposed to unknown factors that are going on within your life. I have a job that responds to extreme environments. It can be anything. How, when I go through a daily task of some horrific series of events, do I keep myself focused and aligned when being exposed to extreme situations? The best way of doing that, because you know there's value in what you do. You're not doing it for no reason. So the best way to do that is to acknowledge that contrast is real and that it is of value and that extreme contrast in other words we talked about momentum already so when a lot of people are focused pushing against a lot of things they create extreme contrast and they create situations that when they manifest are extreme contrast so the best approach for you to have is to step back into as much general thinking as you can by acknowledging that contrast is a good thing and that out of that big contrast is coming a big desire and therefore a big beneficial manifestation for a lot of people. Maybe generational shifts, maybe, but just the same it is happening and you get to decide how much of any of that that you choose to participate in. Some of you decide to come into this experience. Let us start again and then we'll come back to that. And if we don't, ask that question of us because we really want you to hear that about what you come in, some of you intending to do. This is how it really works. So you're standing as an individual exposed to some life, looking around feeling around, sniffing around, having experiences, and pretty easily knowing, I don't prefer that, I prefer that, I don't prefer that, I prefer that. And if you have been talking to us right around the time that that exposure is happening, and you get the law of attraction thing, and you know that you can focus, you might say, well, I know what I don't want, what is it that I do want? and why do I want it and you might focus only upon what you want and not point in the other direction and line up with it vibrationally so even though something unwanted caused you to give birth to that you focused upon it so purely because you chose to that it manifested into your experience so now not only do you have the new clarity of desire and the new manifestation boom but you have a whole new set of contrasting things happening different than what was before because you're standing in a different place with a different point of attraction so then it goes again so you could be a person and in fact we see you as that who keeps yourself pretty much in alignment in other words you know what you don't want you launch you line up with it and off you go so you maintain good balance working in an environment where so many people are not doing that at all so many people just look at what they don't want rail against it get the momentum going against it make up stuff about it get everybody else stirred up it's like they are the anti inner being what it comes down to in many cases is that many people would rather have negative emotion than no emotion at all and they've been living in confinement with so many rules you talked a little bit about religion and so many requirements and things and somebody earlier in the day talked about shutting down shutting down shutting down so a lot of people have just sort of shut down and aren't really feeling and they don't feel anything until it's really extreme and then it calls them because at least they're feeling and also they're launching massive rockets of desire which could serve them in this lifetime could serve their generation in this lifetime but usually when it's that extreme for them they have to croak and they feel their alignment once they're non-physically focused because they've kind of got themselves in a corner of negative attraction it doesn't have to be that way so the long game 
is to not feel like you're the savior of any of this because you can't fix it. You can't, in one fell swoop, get so clear about what they all want that you can focus upon what they all want because they're focusing on the opposition to what they want and you can't buck their current and it's not your job to buck their current it's your job to line up with what your intentions are so we're saying it and we know it sounds selfish and a lot of people don't want to hear it at all but what we're saying to you you just got to find a way to keep yourself in balance and appreciate them for what they're doing intergenerationally for the planet because they are they are doing something intergenerationally Esther's hearing about the war in the Middle East that started the year she was born and she thinks what is up with that you would think that somebody would have found a way to resolve that but they don't want to because they feel more alive in their war, in their protest, they're not looking for alignment with their inner being. If any one of them was looking for alignment with their inner being, that would have come to a resolution a long time ago. So you ask yourself, well, can I do it? You have a better chance of doing it than those of them that are embroiled in it because they're so embroiled in it. It's asking a lot of somebody who's ducking cover to meditate <laughs> or to find the positive aspects of those that are lobbing the weapons in their direction in other words that's asking so much and their own inner beings know that it's not likely that their path of least resistance is going to be a personal one they're looking to those like you who are looking at the bigger picture that are playing the long game friends imagine Imagine that you are living happily ever after because you've decided to. And you are improving your prosperity because you've decided to. And your stability because you've decided to. And your physical well-being because you've decided to. And your clarity because you've decided to. And you're tuned in, tapped on, turned on. You feel pretty darn good. And then you realize there is stuff going on in this world that takes you to your knees if you really focus upon it. It does not feel good. So what do you do? Do you know that you can lightly hold a subject as your object of attention, turn it over to the universe, go on living happily ever after, and bring benefit to that situation? Where if you get intimately involved in it, you can be of no value at all because the likelihood of you finding the vibrational match with their momentum is pretty great. So you have to decide how am I doing? This is not a question that we would usually ask. And as Esther's finding the words, she's finding accurate words for what we are presenting to her vibrationally. But we want to clarify this. How much discomfort am I able to take and still stay in alignment? The answer is none. None. So then what's the next question? How can I stay in alignment while I'm seeing all of that? And the answer is, be like your inner being. Your inner being does it all day, every day. Every one of those suffering people has an inner being who is not joining them in the battle, who is calling them to love and to well-being and to clarity. And so it's a good conversation for anybody to have about anybody that they care about, whether it's somebody up close to them or somebody at a distance. If you want to be of value, be to them as much as you know their inner being is being to them as you can. Love them anyway. Understand contrast matters. Give them the benefit of the doubt. Know that there are paths of lesser and lesser resistance. And if you can, shine a light on that. Play the long game is really a good line. Play the long game. Don't try to fix everything. Just feel as good as you can feel and watch the way you start leaning. And before you know it, there's a whole lot of people that are leaning that way too. Everybody wants to feel that way. So you would think that it would be really easy to tune into your inner being, shine that toward your newborn child or toward anyone, and that people would catch on. And they would if they understand what you understand as a result of the conversation here today. But most people aren't hearing this. 
Most people are hearing that there's right and wrong. That's where most religions come down. There's right and wrong and there's good and bad. And I see that you stand in the bad pile and therefore I cannot feel good about you and therefore I can be of no value to you whatsoever or of value to myself because of my belief about you. When you come to the place where you see the world through the eyes of a source, you will write things on your daily list of positive aspects that go something like I adore my life and I love this world and I love this planet and all of the diversity in it and I honor everyone's intentions and I like thinking about them lining up with their inner being and I desire the empowerment of everyone wouldn't it be nice if insecurity wasn't a thing and everyone stood in clarity but it's got to be okay that insecurity does exist because without insecurity, what would security be? Without poverty, what would abundance be? Without sickness, what would wellness be? We would say from the human perspective, we are all in this together. And I thank you, whoever you are, for the part that you are playing. And we just wouldn't get into war with our own inner being by picking a fight with anybody because when you pick a fight with anybody you are at war with your own inner being and the agony that you feel then you want to blame it on how bad they are but it's not about them it's about your disconnection from who you really are if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next